Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea here. If you're new to my channel, hi! What's up? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the fam and join all the fun. If you're already a part of the fam, go ahead and hit that notification button so you don't miss any more videos. Judging by the title, you know what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about my... What month is this? June? So it's going to be about my May favorites. So go ahead and keep watching. Love you. I haven't done a favorite since March because... I didn't really have any many. Didn't really have any many. Okay, Andrea. Okay. I didn't really have many favorites in April. Um, actually, I did a lot of trying new things in April, so that's why I have favorites now for May. Because um, I didn't want to say those were my April favorites when I was still trying them out. So, you know. I actually do like these and I really do adore them and some of them are going to be staples in some of my routines, um, especially like my skincare routine, I don't know. If you want to have like really like flawless makeup, you need to have really flawless skin and to have really flawless skin, obviously you need to drink a lot of water and eat healthy, but you also need a really good skincare regimen. So. I have been adding things to my very minimal skincare routine and I absolutely love them so I can't wait to share them with you guys which I'm about to do right now I don't know why I keep saying I can't wait like I'm not about to tell you right now first first favorite is this right here right let's see so it's from Pons and it's a cold cream cleanser so it's a deep, uh, it's a moisturizing deep cleanser and makeup remover. So a lot of you guys might know Pons um, for like moisturize, like I have. A lot of you guys might know them for um, having regular moisturizers. So I do have a regular Pons moisturizer and it's like for dry skin and I love it to pieces. I really, really do love it. But this is a makeup remover, guys. It's a cold cream makeup remover. So what you do is that you put it on your face on your makeup you rub it in and then either you take um, your makeup remover wipes your cotton swab whatever you do to like normally remove your makeup you wipe it off with that and honestly a healthy amount like I'm gonna say 85 to 90 percent of your makeup comes off with just this cold cream like what so I got this when I was at BeautyCon Actually, I had I got two and I gave one to my best friend Sable to try. I don't know if she's been using it or not because she hasn't told me. But guys, I highly recommend that you get this. Okay, so the next product I have is also skincare related. Um, it has also become a staple in my skincare routine. And it is from Pixie Skin Treats. Um, it's the Glow Tonic. It's exfoliating toner it's an exfoliating toner and um, if you guys watch Jackie Ina she lives by this stuff and now I also live by this stuff I mean I picked this up at BeautyCon because I saw Jackie lives by this stuff um, and I got the big bottle they sell it at Target they sell the little bottles at Target but they were having a really good deal so I picked this one up at BeautyCon too guys my skin you can't tell my skin nothing okay you can't tell Every day we lit, you can't tell me. Yeah, right. My skin was breaking out and that was getting lit. All right. This, this right here. All right. I talk a lot, guys. I talk a lot. I'm just very passionate about um, the things that I like. I'm just really passionate. Next up I have is, oh, this is actually something I did buy. Um, it's this. Kiss Lash Strip Adhesive, it's lash glue, made with aloe. Why this is my favorite is because usually I use Duo Lash Glue and it's like the, I'm trying to see if it's somewhere on my vanity right now, it's not. Um, but it's the squeeze one. And what has been happening recently is I'm squeezing out too much glue and it's getting into my actual lash, which is very annoying. I'm wasting the glue, I'm effing up my lashes, 
I can't put the glue back into the tube, so I'm just, I'm wasting my money basically. So with this, it is like nail polish, like lips, like lip gloss. It's, um, it's a brush. They, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a brush. So you brush the glue onto the band of your lash so you don't end up wasting any glue because you squeezed out too much and then it doesn't go on your lash and then you don't end up throwing out your lashes because you put too much damn glue on it. This, this has saved my life. This has saved me some extra coin. This has saved my lashes. This is a, th I'm not going back to squeeze glues ever again. I only, I'm only effing with strip brush glue, okay? Okay, so my next favorite is also something that I got at Beautycon. This was in my hauler bag. It is the Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray from, I believe they pronounced their name, Catrice. Catrice Cosmetics. Guys, you can, uh, like, can you see where, like, it's right here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I have been using this, okay, every day since I've gotten it because it's so nice. I like it a lot and I love the nozzle. Like, I think all setting spray noddle, noddles, noddles, Andrea, noddles. I think all setting spray nozzles should be like this one. I don't, oh, guys, and it smells good. Like, it just makes me feel super refreshed. Like. I just feel super refreshed right now. So my next favorite is something kind of random. Um, I also got this at Beautycon. It's this NYX uh, professional. It's NYX Strictly Vinyl Eyeliner, right? But the thing about this eyeliner is that it's not in black. It's in brown. I've been using this to um, darken up my freckles and my moles that I have on my face. You guys might not be able to see them because I put makeup on. So, I've been taking my brown eyeliner and uh, <laughs> popping them back into plate. Next thing that I have, it is the Anastasia Highlighting Duo Pencil in Matte Camille and Sand Shimmer. But, I really like the Sand um, Shimmer. So what I do, I, you know, brow bone, if I'm not wearing too much makeup, like I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, a little bit on the highlight, a little on the nose, Cupid's bow, maybe I just pop it in my inner tear depths or whatever. It gives me I drink water all the time vibes. And I don't drink water all the time. Okay, um, ooh, next favorite. It's something kind of weird, but I also got this in my Beautycon bag, but it was in a box. I don't know, it's supposed to be like in a surprise box or whatever. It's this rat tail comb. The Harry Josh Pro Tools, uh, yeah, just hair. Harry Josh Pro Tools. This rat tail comb, um, I wish I still had the paper that explains it. Whatever material this comb is made out of, um, it prevents frizz. But if I just pick it out with this comb, it just literally picks it out and now I have gorgeous big hair and not that much frizz. It's amazing. So I love this rat tail comb. Um, okay, so my next favorite is actually from, it's actually really small, but it's the Lock, oh God, I don't know how to pronounce their name. La Octane? I don't know. It's hands cream. Okay, it's this little hand cream, and I love the fact that it's this little because it fits in my little purse, and I can't afford to be having big old things in my little purse, but, um, because I'm not going to have no space for nothing, but it's so tiny, but a little bit really, 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 really goes a long way. And then my last favorite for the month of May is actually, I also picked this up at Beautycon too. These brushes from Moda brushes. So they like the um you know the the face brushes, obviously. Um I don't want to talk too much about these 
because I do have a video of me trying out new things and these are featured in my video so I don't want to talk too much about them. I have one for foundation, blush, concealer, and contour. I lied. I do have, I have a music favorite for this month. Actually, I've got a couple music favorites, but my first one is, um, it's Come Through and Chill by Miguel and J. Cole and Remy. I just want to put a blessing on you. Since I'm last undressed in session, I'm not really sure if you've been checking. I'm progressing. I just heard my song just popping out in Macedonia. And even Serbia. I don't mean to burden you. If you got a man assistant, I understand. Last thing I want to do is get you jammed. Especially if he's a fan. He probably never want to hear my shit again. I'm going to This is my song, man. Like with the horns and everything. But um, okay, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't get to at the beginning of this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then also hit that notification button so you don't miss any more videos. I love you all so much. Can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.